Published 101 Eastern Standard Time, the 17th of January the 2018. Updated 10:30 Eastern Standard Time, the 17th of January 2018. He's quite the ladies' man. Crowds of women applauded Kim Jong Un as he visited the newly remodeled teacher training college in Pyongyang at the start of the new year. His fans took the opportunity to ogle the beloved leader as he strode in front of them in a jaunty fedora and black picote, beaming widely at his band of merry followers. Photos show the swarm of young women smiling, clapping and waving excitedly, and some even sobbing with joy as Kim walks past proudly. The volatile North Korean leader was seen checking up on a women's swimming lesson, looking into classrooms, examining desks and even looking in desks, examining classrooms and even assessing lesson plans. Crowds of women applauded Kim Jong-un as he visited the newly remodeled teacher training college in Pyongyang at the start of the new year. The undated photos, released by North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency, show Kim Jong-un visiting the newly renovated school and checking up on its students. Above he watches a women's swim lesson. Kim also went into a number of classrooms, all of which had a similar white and green color scheme, to check up on lesson plans while in the classrooms he looked in the desks, seemingly to check that their manufacturing was adequate before moving on. The photos of the North Korean leader were released on the same day U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson warned the country about the possibility of a military response if the state does not choose to negotiate on giving up its nuclear weapons. After a meeting of U.S. allies on how to beef up the campaign of sanctions, Tillerson stressed that the Trump administration seeks a diplomatic resolution in the nuclear standoff. But, he said the country has yet to show itself to be a credible negotiating partner, and explained that any peace talks would require a sustained cessation of threatening behavior. Tillerson declined to comment on whether the White House is considering limited military action against Pyongyang, in response to reports that some in the Trump administration advocate military action to give the North a bloody nose. We all need to be very sober and clear-eyed about the current situation, Tillerson said when he was asked whether Americans should be concerned about the possibility of a war. He said North Korea has continued to make significant advances in its nuclear weapons through the thermonuclear test and progress in its intercontinental missile systems. We have to recognize that the threat is growing and that if North Korea does not choose the pathway of engagement, discussion, negotiation then they themselves will trigger an option, he said. He also walked past several classrooms full of students who were in the middle of the lessons, flanked by his security officials. The photos of the North Korean leader were released on the same day U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson warned the country about the possibility of a military response if the state does not choose to negotiate on giving up its nuclear weapons after a meeting of U.S. allies on how to beef up the campaign of sanctions, Tillerson stressed that the Trump administration seeks a diplomatic resolution in the nuclear standoff. Tillerson is pictured at the press conference in Vancouver at the foreign minister's meeting on security and stability on the Korean peninsula. Tillerson declined to comment on whether the White House is considering limited military action against Pyongyang, in response to reports that some in the Trump administration advocate military action to give the North a bloody nose. Kim Jong-un is pictured admiring an ICBM test launched on July 4, 2017. His uncompromising message came after a gathering in Vancouver of 20 nations that were on America's side during the Korean War, where there was skepticism among the Allies over North Korea's sincerity in its recent diplomatic opening with the U.S.-allied South. Despite Washington's tough stance and determination to keep up the pressure on North Korea, President Donald Trump has signaled openness to talks with the North under the right circumstances. After months of insults and blood-curdling threats which he has traded with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, Mr. Trump suggested in an interview last week that the two leaders could have a positive relationship. Tillerson declined to say on Tuesday whether Trump has spoken directly to Kim. I don't think it's useful to comment, he said. We are at a very tenuous stage in terms of how far North Korea has taken their program and what we can do to convince them to take an alternative path. And so when we get into who's talking to who and what was said, if we want that to be made known and made public we will announce it.